I hope that you love talking to yourself in the mirror for hours on end, as we're about to look at the charisma skill while our sims take an excessively long look at themselves. There's a few ways to train this skill, including by chatting to other sims, but note that charisma skill gain from chatting is extremely slow unless you use charisma based interactions that have the charisma skill symbol next to them, in which case you'll gain a decent amount of experience. Another way is to purchase and read charisma skill books, but a much easier and more convenient way to train up your charisma skill is by using a mirror to practice speech. Note that at level 5 charisma you'll be able to practice storytelling, which trains up your charisma skill slightly faster than practicing speech. Occasionally I found that practicing storytelling would become practicing an epic tale, and this is again an even faster way to train up the charisma skill, so make use of it when you can. Being confident is the ideal mood for training up the charisma skill, meaning that if your sim trains up their charisma skill while they are in a confident mood then they'll save around 25% of the usual training time, and if they're in a very confident state then this will increase to be around 35%. Three easy ways to make your sim confident are to use a mirror to psych yourself up, providing a plus one confident moodlet for three hours, to use a sink to brush your teeth which provides a plus one confident moodlet for four hours and to drink Earl Grey tea, which provides a plus two confident moodlet for four hours. Another way to increase the rate that you train the charisma skill is by giving your lot the convivial trait, which will save you around 25% of the usual training time. And this lot trait can even give your sims a confident moodlet to make training even faster. If you have the Get Together expansion pack, then activating the charisma skill bonus in a club makes training the skill much faster during a club gathering. And if you have the Tiny Living Stuff pack, then provided your home is at least a tier 2 tiny home, then you'll train all skills at double the rate as well. Now let's turn our attention to charisma skill level unlocks, as they can be so much fun and very beneficial to make use of. When you acquire the skill at level 1, you'll be able to joke more frequently and learn about other sims faster, allowing you to learn a sims traits through conversation. It's also worth noting that leveling up your charisma skill boosts the success rate of many social interactions, so the higher your charisma skill level is, the easier time that you'll have getting along with other sims. At level 2, you can brighten a sims day, and this interaction gives a decent chunk of charisma experience while also being a great way to kick off a conversation on a positive note. At level 3 charisma, your sim will be able to donate to charity, which can be done using a computer. You can donate 10, 100, or 1000 simoleons, and you'll gain a happy moodlet that's stronger the more you donate. Be wary though, because you can get scammed too if you donate to a fake charity. Also note that there is a cooldown of around a day on this interaction, and if you have Get Famous then donating to a charity will help improve your reputation as well. At level 3 Charisma, Sims can also practice pickup lines using a mirror when they are in a flirty mood, which is another way to train the Charisma skill, and your Sim will also be able to flatter other Sims, and this interaction is located in the compliment section of Friendly Interactions, and it can leave the target Sim with a small happy moodlet. At level 4 Charisma, your apologize interaction will be upgraded to a smooth apology, which can be used after you have a bad interaction with the sim to somewhat help to recover a conversation that's going badly. It's at this level that you'll also gain access to the cheerful introduction. Using this gives a relationship a starting friendly boost that's a little bit stronger than a basic friendly introduction. At level 5, you'll unlock a flirty introduction. In addition to some Charisma experience, if successful, this will give a slight romantic relationship boost to the target sim. It's enough so that one or two more successful romantic interactions will make the romance bar visible, as generally a set level of romance needs to occur before the romance bar appears for sims. It's at this level that you'll also be able to create a social media profile on the computer. Once made, then you can update your social media status using your phone or a computer to gain a few followers. Note that if you have the city living expansion pack and you enter the social media career, then you'll be able to make a social media profile without level 5 charisma. Also, if you have the city living expansion pack, then once you have over 200 followers, you'll be able to advertise a minor product. This will lose you followers, but it does have a chance to give you a 500 simoleon payout. It also has a chance to fall flat and give you nothing though. 
Note that if you have the City Living Expansion Pack and you go into the Internet Personality branch of the Social Media Career, then you'll unlock a lot more ways to gain followers and the ability to attempt bigger advertisements for a chance at a larger payout. Also know that if you have Get Famous, then many social media profile interactions will also net you a little bit of fame. At level 6 Charisma, you can share images on a computer, again netting you a few followers, and additionally flirt with other sims by sweet talking with them. It might not go down all too well, like Agnes Crumplebottom was not a fan, but if it does go well, then it's a great interaction to boost your romance bar with another sim. At level 7, you can ask a sim for a small loan of 500 small and note that you'll need to have a decent friendship with the target sim for them to actually agree to loan you money. While you can pay sims back later, let's be honest, we're not going to. I cannot even count on one hand the amount of times I've paid a sim back. Not because it's so many, but because it is zero. At level 8, your sim will be able to perform an enchanting introduction whereby they will shower sims with rose petals, providing both a small friendly and a small romantic relationship boost with the target sim. And it's a great way to start out flirty exchanges, as it'll give the target sim a flirty plus one moodlet for four hours. Then at level 9 Charisma, you can ask sims for a large loan of 2,000 simoleons. And know that you can ask a single sim for both a 500 simoleon and a 2,000 simoleon loan and just not pay them back. So yes, you could fund your sim's life through unpaid loans, but only if you're charismatic. At level 10 Charisma, you can upload a viral video online, and this will net you a small amount of followers. But note that this has a very small chance to go truly viral and net you around a million followers. It's at level 10 that you can also call your boss to negotiate a bonus. This won't always be successful, but if it is, then you will receive a one-time cash bonus and also see your work performance improve, bringing you closer to receiving a promotion. And with that, we're at the end. That's a guide to the charisma skill in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day. See you later!